Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and uh, we will continue now with our lighting design tutorial for written lighting. Now we will proceed to how to aim the spotlights. Okay, I lost my first recording so I will have to do it again. So what I said before is um, if you think that building this uh, room and importing the objects and creating these objects inside this Bellax Evo is time consuming, well, you made a mistake because uh, the hardest part and the time consuming part is aiming the floodlights. Uh, if you're, you take like one or two hours building this room and importing objects, then you will make take um, three to four hours aiming the spotlights and floodlights and change the luminaire if it's necessary so yeah so you have to be very patient in uh, aiming and changing and playing the lights inside the retail shop <clears throat> because for example you have a one straight line here but you may think that you need spotlights towards uh, these um, shelves and you need only two pieces then you need to change those those two pieces only just to highlight those um, shelvings or maybe this dummy or mannequin okay so what I re recently did is I <clears throat> select this one row and aim this um, spotlights or floodlights or wide, wide, wide beam uh, track lights towards the, the wall with 5 degree angle or 5 degree tilting so it's here 5 degree is supposed to be 90 okay and yeah so all of it's like that I don't know why it's not 90 okay and then I I remove the other one uh, these two these other groups and I just aim this one group and then remove the other groups and copy it along the line by using this one this copy along the line command and then run it like that so all these fittings are now uh, five degrees towards the wall <coughs> because our aim is to um, highlight the wall uniformly okay if I miss the recording again for uh, placing these track lights into the surface mounted uh, okay I will uh, mention it again because before we uh, put these track lights suspended and we found out in the pseudo color that we don't have even illumination on the ceiling uh, on the wall so we made it surface mounted so now we don't have suspended we we now have uh, track lights on the surface mounted and on the these channels or cones so yeah now I, I I tilted it in five degrees now you can just do it on the other side as well that is enough for uh, a counter area so let's go and aim this one <coughs> towards the cash counter and also this one towards the okay let's just select it um, cash counter here and then this one let's aim it again towards this side so there's there will be at least cross lights coming from the ceiling and this one to the other side so now you can see that uh, these spots are pointing towards the cash counter area and this one I'm planning to aim here on this glass display so let's select this one and aim it here okay so if there are enough lights on this uh, walls and merchandise we can at least borrow one piece of light so we can aim it towards this glass displays okay so let's do it now maybe this one we can aim it aim it here and maybe we can select this one and aim it there so let's do it on the opposite side we can just copy and make this one the tilting as uh, pre uh, precise or rounded off as possible let's make it 25 degrees and this one is yeah 12 degrees is fine so let's just copy this one on the other side aim this one to this um, wall 5 degrees yep. so let's make it oops sorry it's wrong make sure that you selected the gimbal um, or the luminaire that the, the the ballast or the gear 
So it says 8 degrees. Let's make it 5 degrees. And let's make it 90 degrees. <clears throat> yeah. So let's do it again here. Okay. You can do it uh, like that or you can do it manually here. So let's 5 and then uh, negative 90 degrees. Yes. Also here. It's 5 and then negative 90 degrees. And last one is yes, 5 and 90 degrees and then we will copy it along the line like what I did on the other side so select this luminaire group of luminaire and copy along the line and we will say this is five pieces because it's five groups before yes perfect and then let's go to the section and move it accordingly in line with the other one the original one there you go <coughs> so now we can see that um, the luminaires now are five degrees tilted towards the wall because we want to achieve a uniform illumination also on the upper part of the wall and also at the same time highlight the merchandise here so let's go now and um, aim this two floodlights yes towards the counter area so let's select this one again <coughs> and aim it here and it says it's 12 degree like the other side and this one let's aim it here and it says it's 25 degrees let's make it 25 degrees all right so now we have four lights towards the glass display yeah you can see it there and also there okay if we need to make it um if you can make it as um Let's make it yeah if we can make it as spotlights later we can change it into spotlights because right now this is um, a wide flood beam if uh, wide flood beam is not good then we will change it later with spots <coughs> okay so now we have lights on the cash counter also under the glass display area how about this um, display merchandise and also the mannequin here so let's go and a check at the plan view and let's plan which lights are suitable to highlight this what is this oh it's overlapping okay let's move it okay let's move it all right so let's go and select the, uh, the luminaire which needs to highlight this dummy so I want to select since these are all well lighted it has two four six floodlights maybe we can borrow one from here just to highlight the mannequin I want to select this one and go to the 3d and aim the mannequin yes or maybe you can change it into spotlight later and I want to borrow this one again maybe this one and then <clears throat> let's aim it to the mannequin so this one is again flood i think we need more spots now so let's aim it here uh, let's aim it on the base now okay so let's do this uh, let's do it the same to the other side of the dummy uh, let's go and uh, aim the base all right and also the other one let's aim this one uh, to his upper part of the body and if this uh, white flat beam is not good then we will change it into flat beam only and maybe spotlights because usually uh, it's much better to use spotlights on the mannequins and on the merchandise the white beam are for the general areas uh, for the general areas only. okay so let's save it for now aiming the spotlights and floodlights is really time consuming so I will run a calculation first <clears throat> and see if what we did is uh, good or not good if not then we will aim it again or change the beam optics again of every spotlight okay uh, last one I think I want to yeah to highlight this merchandise at the back side so let's go and select this fitting and go to this uh, set illumination point tab go to the 3d 
and then aim this merchandise. Okay, it looks that it is again a white flag. So maybe next time we can change it into a spot pin. Okay, and this one is aiming here. Okay, yeah. Don't worry if you don't have merchandise here because in the pseudo color you can easily distinguish if there's light pointing towards that area or nothing. So you can easily uh, check that one later. So, alright, I think I can uh, run one calculation first. It may take time now because the objects and of course the luminaires, these luminaires are also in 3D, so it, it also considers in the rendering. So it may take time and then uh, while doing that, maybe we can have our lunch. Alright.